so, so the surveillance working group is uh, in two parts. It is, is, um, is composed of two parts, the lab working group and the epidemiology working group. Uh, concerning the lab working group, we have already five meetings, uh, one in Paris in 2014, and then uh, each year from uh, 2014. Um, sorry. And some of the sorry, some of the of these uh, working groups meeting were um, on, at the beginning we were only uh, uh, lab participants, and uh, the three last meetings were uh, lab and EP uh, participants. So the task of the lab working group is to reinforce the coordination and uh, the capacity at the lab level, and to support global cholera control, of course. Uh, so, um, what we have done and uh, our task is to, how to present results and recommendations for validation during GTFCC meetings, to develop guidance notes, technical guidance, guidance notes for the country, to facilitate the establishment of a laboratory network for the global cholera surveillance and control, and also to try to build a cholera strain data bank and to exchange the data. Uh, and characteristic of pathogens and uh, to, uh, to try to, to monitor the circulation of pathogens globally. So uh, what have been done up to now, uh, we have uh, achieved, uh, you have published some interim, interim technical uh, guidance notes. Uh, some were specific to the lab working group, in particular the use of cholera rapid diagnostic tests, uh, which were published in November 2016. Uh, all these notes are interim uh, guidance notes and, uh, of course, may uh, change uh, during, uh, with the time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, after the publication of this um, rapid diagnostic test note, uh, we developed a focus on the pre-qualification <coughs> and a group of experts developed a pre-qualification pr process for the rapid diagnostic test for cholera and uh, developed also a TPP, Target Product Profile, for the development of improved rapid uh, diagnostic tests. We also published um, a note concerning the value of DNA-based identification and typing methods, and uh, what is the added value to public health practitioners uh, for an investigation of cholera outbreaks. And with the EP, uh, with the EP uh, group, uh, we uh, also developed an interim guidance document on cholera surveillance. All these notes are available on the GTFCC uh, website. So, uh, the, during the last meeting here in, uh, in Annecy last year, uh, we conclude uh, that uh, there was a need uh, to strengthen the lab capacities, in particular uh, concerning culture, PCR, the rational use of additives, and uh, antimicrobial resistance testing. Um, also, uh, we um, discuss about the transportation of the specimens, I mean uh, biological specimens, and also strains isolated. And uh, it is a, a point of um, interest for the countries. So uh, we wanted to discuss about the specimen preservation, packaging, shipment at the regional or international level. Um, the country uh, were interested, of course, by quality control and quality assurance, because today there is no uh, specific uh, system concerning cholera. <coughs> We discussed also about the added value of molecular testing. Uh, molecular testing, I mean uh, tools for identification, for characterization of trends, also whole genome sequencing. And uh, it was suggested, uh, it was a, a request from the countries to, to have access to whole genome <coughs> sequences analysis. And this will be uh, something which, which will be discussed today. So uh, we decided, of course, to offer a package to the countries. And uh, today, uh, we will develop this package and uh, from field to lab approach to the sample. It is, it is a very practical um, package that we want to, to deliver to the country. So the objective of the meetings today are to uh, finalize and validate some uh, lab offer of service, and in particular, some job ads that have been uh, already uh, prepared uh, by Martin and with the CDC also. 
and uh, they concern the use and interpretation of the rapid diagnostic test. But there are very practical documents, very short documents, practical, and uh, so to, to have it in the lab. Uh, another document was prepared concerning the sample collection and transportation within the countries, and uh, also the culture and isolation, identification of Calva Vibrio. It means isolation from uh, biological samples up to the uh, isolation of the strain. Um, we are also um, interested in uh, antimicrobial resistance testing, and we have prepared a document, but it is not so easy because uh, there are many, uh, many things to discuss concerning this, uh, uh, in particular the, um, um, the reference document for the interpretation of the, of the values. And uh, another uh, document was prepared concerning the strain conditioning. I mean strain and not biological sample, but isolated strains. Because uh, in the real life, we have many difficulties uh, for this transportation. And I think it was necessary to, to develop something. So uh, this document will be discussed with the lab uh, working group specifically tomorrow. And we will present the, the recommendation uh, in day three. So, uh, two points also that we wanted to discuss, but they are really not ready. And I, I don't know if we can finalize this during this meeting, I'm not sure. But uh, it is the external quality assessment. And uh, CESCO um, prepared some a document also. And uh, we will discuss that tomorrow. And uh, the, the need is to improve the quality of the, of the lab diagnostic. Um, in the national laboratories in cholera-affected countries and to maintain the capacity. So this will be discussed. And it is only a draft for technical guidance. And uh, we will discuss also uh, about the PCR uh, uh, and its use maybe as a tool for Vibrio identification. In which case is it uh, interesting to have PCR? How is it possible to implement the PCR in the country? It is not so easy. Uh, what is the recommended methodology, what would be the target, etc. So we will discuss that also tomorrow. And um, another objective of the meeting and a discussion that we will have uh, concerns the whole genome sequencing. So it is a, an important point of the session. It will be discussed, I think, first uh, this afternoon at the end of, of the day. And uh, we, we want to discuss uh, the, the possibility to have access to whole genome sequencing for the countries. But also one point important to discuss, I think, would be to know and to better understand what are the expectations of the countries uh, with the whole genome sequencing and what is its role in outbreak control. So uh, this will be discussed this afternoon and um, in particular with Nick Thompson, who will make a, 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 a general presentation on that. And I hope we will discuss it this to date.